why do people who eat more plants get less cancer? We've talked about some phytonutrients that can act as antioxidants to douse free radicals, how some can boost our liver's own detoxifying enzymes, and some that even boost our DNA repair enzymes to, to patch up any damage done. But 22 years ago, the interceptor molecule hypothesis was postulated. Serving as a first line of defense, interceptors bind to mutagens and carcinogens, and thereby block them from coming in contact with our DNA in the first place. See, uh, many carcinogens, shown here in blue, have a flat ring system narrow enough to slip into the spine of our DNA, causing mutations. But if some interceptor were able to glom onto the carcinogen first, it may no longer fit into our DNA. So the search was on, combing for the existence of carcinogen-binding molecules. And in 2007, we discovered one such amazing molecule was chlorophyll the most ubiquitous plant pigment in the world, that which makes dark green leafy vegetables dark green. In subsequent years, the ability of chlorophyll to totally abolish DNA damage of human cells exposed to carcinogens was documented in a petri dish. But you know, what we really need to see is if does it work in people. But you can't just give people carcinogens unless you pay them enough. Effects of chlorophyll on low-dose aflatoxin in human volunteers. They had people drink a solution of radioactive aflatoxin, the carcinogen that used to be a problem in peanut butter, with or without spinach chlorophyll. Here's the big spike in their bloodstream of aflatoxin without spinach in their stomach, and this is with. Apparently the chlorophyll bound to the aflatoxin and prevented its absorption into the bloodstream. In some, these studies provide substantial evidence that chlorophylls can strongly inhibit uptake of aflatoxins in the whole animal, which in this case was us.